Hey guys, welcome back. Today, it's a new location. We're in my car and that's because we're outside Canadian Tire and I'm actually gonna take you on a little ride with me. I'm gonna pick up some supplies because we will be upgrading my Ikea cabinet. So I guess I'll show you how um, I'm gonna set it up and do a little bit of review on the light system and I guess give you an update on that later on somewhere. <laughs> in the near future but if you like videos like this please hit the subscribe button drop a comment down below and uh we're gonna go on a ride now <laughs> okay so i'm gonna pick up some zip ties um Maybe these ones over here. $8.79, you get a hundred of them. Not bad, so I'm gonna grab these. Hey guys, we're back and my apologies. It was a zoo at Canadian Tire. So, I mean, I guess everyone's there for Christmas shopping. But anyways, I think before we get started, I'm just gonna show you the supplies that I had received and gotten. So half of my stuff was purchased through Amazon um, and the other half was at Canadian Tire. So you saw that I picked these guys up, zip ties. These will come in handy. Um, this Gorilla two-part epoxy glue. So these are gonna be used for my, um, my magnets that I will be attaching to the grow lights. Now, with regards to the grow lights, I actually have two grow lights. One of them was sent to me for review and so far I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel about it and that's just because it is purple light and you know how I feel about purple light in this room, but um, we'll see how it goes because like I had mentioned in my previous video, red and blue is supposed to stimulate um, leafy greens and for it to grow a little bit taller so maybe it'll be good for some of the plants that are more juvenile um, I did however already purchase <laughs> these other lights that ideally is probably what I'm gonna end up using after I use the the ones that were sent to me but let me show you what they look like <clears throat> Oh, that's not good. <laughs> All right, so these are the lights that I had picked up to actually use and put into this cabinet, but um, those lights seem to be doing okay now after I had did some rearranging, so I probably will hold off on using this one. And these ones are the ones that were sent to me, and like I said, it's purple, purple light, and I just, don't I don't prefer it but I mean I'm here to do a review so I guess I'll have not so cute aesthetics for a little bit my apologies <laughs> maybe I'll just like I don't know put a sheet over my cabinet when I film we'll see how it goes but while I'm here I'm actually just gonna turn off these lights and talk about them for for a minute so these lights that were sent to me it is full spectrum, but obviously it has more blue and red light, which is why it's emitting that purple pink color that you know that I'm not a fan of. It is just one cord and there is a switch on the bottom to turn it on and off. Today, we're not gonna be talking about this guy, although I will say it's a little bit cumbersome in the sense that you have your cord and it attaches onto the battery and then there's another cord that attaches to the outlet. This to me is a little bit cumbersome because, I mean, where are you gonna put this? You're gonna have to like mount this to the bottom of your cabinet um, because leaving it inside the cabinet, if it's very high humidity and uh, you know, you accidentally spill some water on this, this is gonna be a problem. So that's my two cents on this, but otherwise, the light is great. I like the color of the light. It is full spectrum. The only thing is, is I think it's actually almost a little bit too strong because it is a hundred watt. Whereas this one, I think is 45. Uh, yeah, it's 45 watts. 
so not as bright but you're getting that purple look um, but I guess I'll review both of them later at another time but today is about this guy so let me just put this thing down so this one like I said it was given to me to review and it's like the perfect size to fit right underneath here and like I said, I will be using magnets to hold it in place and um, we'll just get started. All right, so let's get started with this panel. Now, I think I want it right here and I hope that you can see this. But what's really nice about this cabinet is that it has these holes that are already kind of in here. So you can just slide these through and that is how I'm going to... Um, attach the panels so I'm gonna have it there I'll just readjust you guys alrighty so let's just put this through and I'm not gonna pull it in all the way just so that I can see how tall or how much I want it to hang down but yeah, I think I'm gonna end up pulling it all the way up there. Alrighty, so there we go. So the panels are on. I'm happy with the height. Like I had mentioned, the uh, the shelving unit isn't here yet. Um, personally, to be honest with you, I, I actually thought that the uh, the shelving unit was coming with this, that it was a part of it, but it wasn't. Um, it was separate. I need to learn to read. But anyways, <laughs> we're gonna talk about these USB desktop fans. These are AC Infinity. I purchased them off Amazon last year and these are the same ones that I had used in this exact cabinet um, it's quiet it does the job I have no complaints it's going back in I know that some people prefer the bigger ones but these are small and they're like a good size so I'm gonna continue using them so last year or my other setup I had an extra shelf in here so one fan was up here and the other one was down here so it was like this However, I can't have both of the fans sitting like this because the LED panel will be sitting up here and it'll be taking up space. So I purchased these off Amazon. Um, they're little magnet hooks, they're great. Look, it's fantastic. Uh, greatest invention ever. So I think there's like, how many is in here? I think like 12 or 14 hooks are in here. They come in two pieces, you have to screw it on, and yeah. They actually have two different size hooks. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go off camera, attach everything, and then zoom you guys in. All right, so I've already attached them. They look pretty good to me. And these guys are little like 3M tabs. Uh, I have a pack right here. I also got these off of Amazon. One side it's sticky, the other one has like little tabs and you just stick them on and this is how I'm going to keep my cords tidy. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on now. So this is what it sounds like on low. This is medium. And that's high. I think I'm going to keep it on on medium, it's not too loud, and it has enough, uh, you know, <laughs> air circulation and airflow here. Alright, so now that the fan is on, the panel is on, we have lights. This will be placed right underneath here with the cord on this side. And that's just because the USB cord for the fan is in the other corner. Now, I know some people like to drill holes 
into the bottom of their uh, their cabinet, but I'm not doing that. The reason is because <sighs> these actually have like like the corners are cut off. So I'm actually able to wedge the cord right in between and slide it through into the corners and you won't be able to see them. Um, so that's the reason why I'm not doing it. Now, I wanna make note of something. These lights, as you can see, I've attached it with um, the two-part epoxy glue and I put the magnets on, but I want you to know that it does take five minutes for it to dry and one hour to actually cure. So my suggestion would be to do this part first and then finish setting up your cabinet or go eat or do something. And I also want to mention that one magnet isn't enough. You kind of have to attach the second one and then that'll be enough to hold it up. So I'm just going to put that here and finish putting everything away and start tucking things away and turning it on. So I'll be back. All right, so we have the lights in. Um, it is running kind of pink. Not a fan, but I mean, it's not too, too bad. So I guess I will put everything together and show you the final product. All right, and this is the final product. The fans are in, the panels are in, the uh, shelving system is in, and we have all my plants in here. Now, the reason why I didn't keep the light on is because you wouldn't be able to see all this. So now that you have, I'll turn on the lights. And as you can see, it's very purple. You guys know how I feel about that. But in any case, I think it'll do my plants some good. So this Florida ghost, I think, will become more ghostly now that it's closer to the light. Um, I have a couple of cuttings that need a little bit of help, so I think the blue and red light will assist. And obviously, I have my moss poles, poles back there, my escalito, my squamiferum, milano. Um, I think a glorious is down there somewhere, and a splendid. And the reason why I have my gloriosums in here is because they don't like to have too much light. So I'm going to have them here for now to see if they'll fade in color. If they do, I will move them out, but for now, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below, and give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!